work ahead. But I'm uh, getting used to uh, hopefully coming into your lives and uh, sharing with you thoughts. I have been uh, promoting accurate weight loss for over 20 years. And as I got ready for this video, the thought that I had was after 20 years, your successes still excite me. And I want to talk about that excitement on a different level. I want to talk about passivity versus proactivity. The thought I had was my enthusiasm is still here. I know that if I can get to you and you can fulfill your personal responsibility to yourself, changes that make you feel good are going to occur in your life. But I realized as I had that thought that I could have fallen into a rut. Just go on day by day, seeing patients, putting on their beads, and letting it just happen. What would have been missing is the reason that I come to work. The feedback that I get from you. And the disappointment that I get from you when you have felt that you haven't been there for yourself. That's an interesting concept because what it says is that when certain things occur, you're no longer the center of your own life. And when you're not the center of your own life, you're no longer able to really get from it what feels good and better and even more than that. Doing active weight loss week after week can cause you to fall into a rut, but only if you disregard the fact that your body is actually being impacted on and changing. We show you the stars. We show you those who have lost significant weight. And the one thing that shines through from every single one of them is the excitement that they feel when they look at themselves in the mirror and realize that they have taken control of their own lives and because of their own efforts, they have changed. Now, proactivity. I've explained proactivity to you with the admit breathe substitute protocol because you are verbalizing and that's important and you're saying I am going to use a substitute that is not as good as what I really want so you're admitting your own truth and the reason you want the substitute is not to that you don't want the thing that you want. It's because the thing that you want won't give you what really will feel good. It's only a temporary diversion. With all the telephones that we have in our hands, and all the machines that we use, we become alienated from ourselves. 
you have to talk to yourself. You have to make yourself important enough to have a conversation with yourself. And if you've forgotten how, let me remind you, you're really in charge. You're really the one who makes it happen. When you're ready to cheat, say to yourself, what is it that's pushing me right now to make me do this? Instead of turning a blind eye and simply letting it happen. This is the best time of year because everything is open. Things are more relaxed. And if you make yourself important enough, the things that you want to happen are going to happen more rapidly, more often, and you're going to feel the difference because everything is energy. This is an electrical machine. That's why when you stick your finger into a socket, you get a shock. Stick a piece of wood into the socket and nothing is going to happen unless you uh, destroy a, a wire or something. And the reason for it is it's not an electrical machine. Now, if you're an electrical machine, then you run. And if you run, someone has to control it. And if you control it, you're going to move closer to your goal. And everything that you are depriving yourself of now, everything under your control is going to come back. By the way, I know I push her to the forefront. Rosa has finished her fourth week of transition and is exactly the same. Why? Because she's doing what she is choosing to do, following the protocol and learning to love the fact that she has lost such a, a tremendous amount of weight and learning to deal with the attention she's getting. Be proactive. Act for yourself. Talk to yourself. Talk to others. Talk to me. Thank you for listening.